Welcome back to another video here at Piano Music and Repair. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a damper felt on your upright piano. So this piano we're looking at here is a Kohler and Campbell 1990 some model. I can't remember the exact year, but it's in 1990. So um, it's a Kohler and Campbell. And um, we're going to be looking at the base, the base felt on this piano. Um, I already glued one right here. They we lost two. They lost two felts here, and I was able to glue this uh, felt back on. Um, I might need to do some bending in the wire, um, possibly, because sometimes it can act up a little bit. So we slipped in both, and it's not supposed to be, but I might have to do some bending in the wire. So, um, I glued this one back on right here, um, and I had the damper taken off and. Um, it's if you, depending on your piano, um, this side is the easiest to replace because they're not wedging into the strings like these are or these. Um, these are actually a little easier to work with than these. Um, these dampers right here, there's two strings, and then this just wedges in between, and that's what stops the note right after you let off the key. So, um. What you do, I went on Amazon and I ordered a part, I ordered a damper felt from Intune Piano Supply. And they had, I bought this for like $2 and it was $6 to ship it, which was crazy, but, um, and it's, it just says thank you and, um, Tune Piano Supply and all that. You can see what they're there. Um, but yeah, um, this is the damper felt that I ordered. This will be perfect for what I'm needing. It's exact um that one might be a little longer but it doesn't really matter um when it comes to these things so i already glued one on um they lost two dampers and i was able to find the this one laying in the bottom of the piano i don't know what the other one was um i, I wasn't able to find it so um so i just went ahead and ordered a new one they're pretty inexpensive um so what you want to do is you want to um have um, you can have uh, PVC e glue, but I'm just using some super glue here. Um, and then, um, if uh, you shouldn't need to take the damper off, but uh, most of the time, if you do, it'll be a flat or a Phillips head. Um, and if you're like, you probably will have to take some dampers off sometimes, depending on um, if, how much work you're having to do to the the whole damper like if I was replacing this the if I was replacing the wire and the damper felt then yes I would take this whole thing off right here but we're not having to take any of that off so um we're just going to be putting the felt back on I took it off to make sure that it didn't need any other work like this like I checked the make sure, I checked the spoon and everything make sure that was good and all of that so anyway um get you some pvc e glue piano supply glue or some um regular super glue or gel super glue or just something that is really that'll hold it on there and um and what we're doing is we're just gonna um go ahead and we're gonna open up our damper here and like i mentioned i might have to do some bending to the wire because it is possible when you take that damper out of the action that it, it can possibly bend. Um, that is a possibility too. So sometimes you'll have to bend that wire back out and you have to be pretty careful. So um, you wanna get your damper felt out. Like I, like I said, damper felts are pretty inexpensive. Um, it's one of the cheapest things to buy at a piano. It's about cheaper than bridle straps, really. Um, so you wanna you want get your damper felt out here. Um, one thing that I notice right off the bat when I take this damper out of the um, the piano is this is a square head damper. It's a square and then this damper right here is round. So when that happens, you can just make it work. Like I said, it's just the glue is gonna hold it um, and it's gonna do all that. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your super glue here and you want you don't want to put any super glue on the damper the the damper head or anything you don't want to put it on like the back of the damper on the wood part because it can run down it can get in all the other stuff and make it stick and then it's just going to be a whole big mess to fix so 
what I recommend doing is taking your damper felt. Um, the, the old damper felt, when you take the old damper felt off, it's pretty simple. It's, you just, you just, you just rip it off. If, man, like I said, if the damper's old and it's still on there, but it needs replacing, just rip it off. And then just kind of, um, scrub, and just kind of try to get as much felt off of the, um, of the wood as you can, which is the same way with replacing, like, the spring rail felt or any type of felt that's glued to wood, really. Um, it's pretty hard to get all that out. So, um... When you manage to get just enough, you want to go ahead, you want to take a little bit of super glue here. I'm just going to put it on the head of the damper, the top. And then, I'm going to go up my damper. There, as you can see. It does that. And if you heard it, you heard it sizzle right there, and that's just it. Um attaching itself on now to make sure that your damper's on there real good you want to take you want to be very easy doing this you want to take your glue and you want to be super gentle um and not to not let it run down and you just want to put like one drop on the damper right there where we just glued just like that and again, man, when you do this with your dampers, you always want to push the dampers back and forth because if you don't, sometimes your dampers can glue itself to each other. So that's one thing you need to do when you glue a damper felt is push on your dampers to make sure that... Um, They don't stick to each other. So, and there it is. That's all there there is to it. And then, um, and there you go. Your damper felt is replaced, and that's just as simple as that. Um, and what you want to do is when you put the act, you want when you put the action back in the piano, you want to make sure that you put it in because the curve of the piano. If your piano is not a straight strung piano, which ninety nine percent pianos are not straight strung pianos. Um, and what I mean by straight strung piano is instead of the string, you would think the strings would go completely vert like up and down. But most of the cases in a smaller piano, just if a really small piano, to get a better sound for more string length, they would take the string and they would put it at an angle going like towards the right. If I'm sitting in front of the piano, um, instead of just going up and down. So it's kind of got an angle that you have to put the damper at. So... Um, make sure to try to line the angle up as best as you can, as, match it with the others, um, and then put it in your piano and see how it is. And if it dampens, and if it, if your damper felt goes in between the strings like it's supposed to, then you fixed it. So um, it's not really done, but um, the gluing process and all that is pretty much done. Pretty much done. So um, like I said, make sure we're moving our dampers a little bit, just getting them going. Get them nice and easy. Just like that. Just to make sure that they're not glued to each other, which can be very bad if they do. Which means you'll probably end up replacing a lot more felts. So, now what you want to do once you got that glued on is you want to um, put the action back in the piano and see how it sounds. Um, this note that I just put the damper on felt on is a B natural on the bass section, which is the first, um, the first B natural in the bass section. So, um, let's go ahead and, um, put this action back in. Again, if you want to order a damper off of Amazon, um, this is what it is right here. They're really inexpensive, $2 for the damper. Um, I guess I paid $6 for shipping, I guess, because it sh shipped out a pretty good bit. Um, but like I said, you know, you can get um, good deals on a lot of piano parts if you go to the right places to get them. So, um, I do order a lot of piano parts on Amazon. They do seem to hold up pretty good. So, I have I have a set of key tops coming in here soon. I have never ordered them from Amazon and a needling tool for the hammers. I'm going to be doing a video about that. Um, we're going to test them out and see how the quality is on them and see if they work good and 
all that. So, um, and that's how you glue the damper felt on. And let's put the action in and see how it sounds. Alrighty, we've got the action back in the piano now. Everything is good and in there. Um, as you can see, here's our damper right there. It's perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to test out and see how it does. We're going to play a little bit. Like I mentioned earlier, this piano is a little bit out. This piano is pretty out of tune. Um, we, they haven't tuned it in years, if at all, since anybody's had it. So... Here's a note. Yep, there it is. There's a little bit of a harmonic going there. Yep. Right there. It's that string. It's that string on the far right. That's with all pianos, though. They mostly do that. Everything is back where it should be. Everything's working good now. And, um... Everything's doing pretty good. The damper's working good. Yep, here it is. Everything's working, so thanks for watching this piano music and repair. And um, feel free to join us for other videos.